Hi, you guys. Welcome to this 2023 Extreme Declutter and Organizing video. I got rid of a hundred plus items in this small kitchen declutter. And while I'm decluttering, I'm doing some small kitchen organization and giving some tips and ideas to declutter and organize your space. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Carla and this is Carla's Sweet Life. I like to upload cleaning and organizing videos every single Saturday. And in today's extreme declutter and organize, it was like a little reset of my small kitchen. We are living in military housing, so I'm doing our best to declutter and organize our spaces. I really have been going through my house. I started at the end of 2022 to organize and declutter a lot of my home. One area I did not focus was the kitchen. I had other areas I was focusing on. I will leave a video if you wanna watch it. It's really motivating. I've got amazing feedback from that video and you guys have loved it, so thank you for that. But starting in the kitchen, it is removing all the items and giving a quick wipe down so I can see everything that is in this cabinet, which I will be tackling this kitchen declutter by tackling one cabinet at a time. So first off, I actually don't have enough counter space to do like the KonMari method, which is like take out every single thing that you have in your cabinets. I just, and I would get overwhelmed. So first space and second, I would get way too overwhelmed. I tackle one cabinet at a time and that's just one of my tips for you. You can even do one shelf at a time if you feel that is best for you, but do what you feel will help you like move on with this declutter. So when I was decluttering this day, I really tried to focus on, are we using these items? Have I used them in the last year? Like if I haven't used them in the last year, I will most likely not be using them, but also getting rid of excess items that are just kind of like, there's too much of like, we don't need that much of the same item. So that was my focus on my declutter project today. And you will see just from this one cabinet, I put things where they belong. I did get rid of some plates, which I will be showing. And I reorganized this area to make this a little bit better for us. But yeah, those were the items I got rid of just in that one cabinet. And the reason I got rid of the plates is we are not using them. We're just not using them hardly ever. And so I was like, it's time to let go. I have so many mismatched things that like I only have, I had a bunch of bowls, but no small plates, you know, like I couldn't, I don't know. I just, I think it was time to let go and maybe someone will have better use for them. I don't know. What are your guys like, what are your thoughts when something isn't complete? So the, the dishware is not a complete set whatsoever. Would you donate that? I'm just curious. I haven't done anything with them quite yet, but I'm curious on what you think about that. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video. It was the play area little makeover transformation and I honestly felt all over the place. So forgive me if I was, I feel like I was all over the place. If you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. <laughs> that would mean a lot, but I don't know why. I felt like I was all over the place on that video. I've never used this. Never have used these. They were a gift like a home gift when you buy a new home. And this is Pampered Chef, brand new. I don't know why, just haven't used it.
So quickly going back to last week's video, it's almost like I feel like I didn't do enough. Like I almost feel like I didn't do a big enough transformation. I feel like I did not get rid of enough items in my baby's section, which I know it's just like little by little, you know, getting the things moved over to the new play area was top priority. But I guess I'm just feeling a little like not like you guys would judge me, but maybe other people would. And so I guess I think about that. So lots of crumbs in here from the toaster, which today's sponsor is by VacLife. I'm using the VacLife Stig Vacuum to clean up all of these little messes, more like big messes, but I'm sharing this stick vacuum with you guys and it has a few attachments. It's got the duster and then also the motorized brush and also has a crevice nozzle which is perfect for hard to reach areas like the cabinets and getting far in there in the cabinets because they do go pretty deep in my opinion, but it helped with that. But also this stick vacuum has a great LED light and it's a really awesome because it's so bright and it helps with seeing all those little crumbs and some of the few great features that I noticed was that it was easy to use very lightweight so it didn't get heavy while I was trying to do my cleaning that I was tackling here in the kitchen which I do use throughout the whole video to pick up items in the cabinets and hard to reach areas and then I was also using it for like the drawers and then picking up the crumbs and then going back to wipe it down so fast charging and easy to use and this can be found on Amazon or straight from VacLife on their brand website. If you are interested at checking out their vacuum, I will have it linked down below in the description and they are offering a 20% off discount code. I'll make sure to leave down below. So I'm actually not going to focus on this right here because I'm considering this as my pantry. It's an extension of my pantry because this is like all baking and whatnot and I'm just not ready for pantry stuff. That's going to be another video. But I do see a few up there that I'm going to grab to donate. If you like to watch pantry organization, make sure to stay tuned because I do a whole little, uh, not makeover, but like a do-over on all the baking items that I have in that cabinet. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I'll be doing like a pantry organization and declutter pretty much because it needed some attention. So now going into my... Pla not plasticware because I like to use glass. I feel like food just lasts longer in glass containers. Okay, so I wasn't filming. <laughs> I didn't press record, but all I did at the very top was just get rid of something that was broken, which is this one. It's broken. And now just gonna move to the section. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys use plastic or glass containers for your food. Let me know. So I kept these to see if I would use them for Christmas, never did. Definitely donating. And then I don't like the feel of these bags from Ikea. <laughs> so I'm gonna donate. So I love this lid organizer and I really like the way I organize all of my glassware. 
it just, you know, it needs a retouch up sometimes. I don't think I got rid of too much of this area, but it needed like a little reorganize, tidy up in here. I know it needs it every, you know, from time to time and actually taking it out and giving it a quick organization. You see me filming here. I like to do reels on Instagram. Make sure to follow me over there and upload to TikTok as well. And you guys may even see those short video forms the short form videos on shorts here on YouTube. So if you see that, that's part of that little behind the scenes that you saw. So remember when I said earlier in the video, if you haven't used it in the last year, you're probably not going to use it again and maybe it's time to donate and pass on. So the reason I say a year is because you have all the seasons that you went through. So we have summer, winter, um, fall and spring, which I did not say those in order whatsoever. But if you think about it, you know, during the summer, you need more water bottles or during the winter, you need more warm bottles or, you know, to keep things warm. So I just try to think of those of that. Like if it's been a year and I haven't touched it, it's time to let go. Or if I have a too many of one item and it's just causing more clutter than it's time to let go as well. going through this cabinet it's all my seasonal towels so there's not much here you got issues some you know and some you when it comes to decluttering your spaces another tip that i have is take your time just do what you need to do. It's a lot to take in sometimes, especially if you're taking things out, cleaning, putting them back in. So you have to be in that mental state. So just take your time. You got this. I literally got rid of one thing. We use all of these items. Oh, I am getting rid of this one. It's very flimsy. And it's not good, like, these are nice and sturdy. Eh, this one not so much. Okay, getting rid of three after looking at it again. So this drawer is a very great example where I had a way too many teaspoon and tablespoon. Um, like I had way too many. Like I think I had four different pairs, you guys. And so this is what I meant. Like pair down. I don't need that many. Maybe two pair, but definitely not three or four or five. <laughs> So I definitely got rid of a bunch of them and I was like, Carla, come on, come on. You have a great stainless steel pair. See, <laughs> you saw me showing you. Uh, yeah, that's because I was like, okay, I really don't need that many. So think to yourself, do I really need this many of one thing? Some 
So this area was really hard to show you guys, but it's mostly my baking items. So it needed a little organization. I was able to get rid of a couple things like a, um, I had a Christmas rolling pin, which I bought brand new, but I have not used. So I don't need a Christmas rolling pin. I could just use my normal regular rolling pin if I need a rolling pin. <laughs> So I got rid of that. I never use the Christmas one. So it's just like little things like that. Like they're just taking up space. They're just taking up your time and you just, you just don't need it. So gave that cabinet a quick organization and kept only items that I know I will use. And then of course, of course, like the bunk cake and pie pans, I got to keep those. You're so cute. Hi. Hi, baby. So when I have my tripod down low, Abigail loves to kind of move the camera around like she's filming. It's really, really sweet. In this cabinet, I got rid of, I believe, just one that I was really not touching at all anymore. So it wasn't too many in here. I do keep that pretty minimal. And onto the next corner cabinet, I did get rid of quite a few, which I'll show you guys how much I actually got rid of. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I got rid of a hundred plus items and including some trash items. But you guys, that is a lot of items in a small kitchen. I could not believe I got rid of that much. You're welcome. Hold on. Hold on, okay? Okay, so I'm actually not going to worry about what's underneath the sink right now. I feel like under the sink organization is pretty specific. I have a little dude right here. Ah, had to race. Kiss me. There we go. All locked up. <laughs> Carter Bear. Hey, sweetness. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came. I thought you might be failing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seems like almost no time now. All right, so I have one more section to go. Trying to think. Oh, yeah, I've done every section now. <laughs> this is crazy, like the kids. Oh my gosh. Um, it's this one and it's hard because I don't know where I'm gonna put all of the medicine stuff. Like, this really needs to get addressed. You are so cute. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along. And I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fight. Goodness. Goodness. I don't need 
So this cabinet I was really, really dreading because I didn't really have a game plan. So if there's a no game plan, I suggest just remove everything, categorize everything, and then see where you can put these categories and put them in different areas or in your home or get rid of, put where they actually belong, like in their actual home or you know put back in the cabinet so that would be my suggestion when you legit have no idea what to do with a space so josh is actually really really tall he's six two so i'm going to put this like in a section where he can reach it really easily and it's just going to be in the cup cabinet so Right up there is where I'll put all of Josh's stuff because he can reach it just fine. He doesn't need a step so like I do. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So for example, I did not know what I was going to do with some of these items, but then I found a category within this cabinet, which is the items for my husband. So I created this little category and I was able to find a place for it in a home. So that's why I suggest take everything out first. I only took these iron pills because I was iron deficient when I was pregnant. So like, I don't think I need them. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits make us both come crashing to the floor. Something to save us, close but we're strangers. Feel like we're far apart. Sit down. And again, I found another category within this cabinet. A, I found a vitamin little category and I found a perfect place for it. But that's why I suggest take everything out, start categorizing, and then maybe you'll think of a spot that is perfect for these items. So I'm going to put our vitamins somewhere that we open very often. So we open this cabinet to get a towel out pretty much daily. <laughs> we go through a lot of towels. So if we see them, I feel like that'll help with taking them at least a little bit more often. So hopefully that'll help us take our vitamins. And then these are just like medicines that I think we'll use, like ibuprofen, like things we can get to pretty quickly. Like yeah. I still wanted to keep some down here and like syringes and all that. Okay, y'all don't judge me on how much coffee you're about to see go in here. It was a lot. I actually had no idea that I had this much coffee but it's okay it's going to I'm gonna drink it all <laughs> it might take me some time but no judgment So it looks a little crazy up there, but I have a lot of coffee I need to go through. <laughs> so no more buying coffee. I have medicines and then my coffee mugs and cups. I am still missing some, so I just need to, I have enough space to, you know, put them up there. So this is everything we decluttered. It is so much. This has probably been my biggest kitchen declutter. For sure, this section right here is trash. Like this doesn't work. This is trash. Um, and then everything else is just all donation. I keep it deep inside myself. So everything you are seeing here besides a few Amazon returns, 
I was able to get rid of over a hundred items in my small kitchen. Can you even believe it? I was so proud and you actually see my reaction here in just a moment. You guys, I just counted the amount of items <laughs> between trash, donation, and like returns, which I, there was only three items I'm returning, which is Costco and then um, Amazon. 101 items. So it actually ended up being more than 101 items. There were a few other items I had put by the front door that I did not include. So that's why I said over 100. Wowza. I was so happy with this actual declutter. I don't want to say actual, but I was so happy with this declutter and how everything turned out. Everything is feeling much lighter in this kitchen and just feeling so much better about my choices and what I kept and what I donated. I hope you guys enjoyed this extreme declutter and organize with me. If you made it till the end, leave me a pink emoji down below in the comments, maybe a flower pink emoji. I love flowers flowers. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you all enjoyed this declutter and organize small kitchen organization ideas and tips for you. Make sure to check out back life that I will have linked all down below for you. I love you guys. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.